Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel to get a life of a team. So today makes it officially a year since I've been on the Born Different series. So I'm going to talk about how I got into the show and like what was the process like. And because a lot of people have been asking me, was it hard to get on the show or was it difficult? So I'm going to be talking about all of that in today's video. But if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel down below and turn on bell notification. So you're alerted each time I upload a new video. We're going to get started. So everything basically started when I was on YouTube basically watching a documentary on the world's smallest woman, which is Jodi Amge. If you don't know who she is, she's the Guinness World Record holder for being the shortest woman on earth. And I was like, she was on the show, one different as well. And like, I saw it and I was like, hey, I should try this out. So I think that was, I was in eighth grade, you know, and stuff like that. But pretty much I reached out to Roddy Craft like twice because... They didn't reply to the email, but the second time around, they did, and it was pretty simple. It's not hard to get on the show, if you really think about it, but I pretty much was watching, like, Jody's like, documentary at that. It was cool that they did it for her, and especially that she lives in India, but, and plus, a lot of people say I should be on that show because they feel like I'm way shorter than Jody, and I think I am absolutely am, but, hey, that's why I did the show, you know, and I especially did the show because I feel like there aren't too many black people like who's on that show too who are little people so that's why i did it so now i'm gonna explain to you um how the process went so the process went like this so after they reply to my email we set a date for them to film at my school and my house as well so filming process was about like two days in I filmed this when I was in sophomore year, and Corona wasn't a thing yet. So I filmed this around December-ish. It was almost Christmas time, I believe, and it's almost fi finals week at my school, and it was pretty like easy. It wasn't hard or anything. So actually, they have a videographer team that's in Miami as well, pretty much all over the states where they're filming. So that's how it started. So we set a date for us to film and stuff like that. And that's how it all started. So I'm going to explain to you now the filming process. So the filming process started like this. So they set a date for them to come to my school. And the guy was there, you know, filming around me on campus and stuff like that. I got a B-roll of, like, my mom's car and stuff like that. But actually that day, it was a half a day as well. So he interviewed me. Um, not really interviewed me at school. I just realized that he didn't really. He you know, mostly got B-roll and stuff, and then interviewed like like teachers and like staff at the school. Pretty much it. So yeah, he just mostly got B-roll. So it wasn't like anything too crazy. So on day two, that's when like the re real interview started. So it took me the whole day to film. Actually, I I started from eight to three on the second day, and it was a Saturday as well. So he got me like a few interviews, and they interviewed my parents and also interviewed my cousin as well but it wasn't really anything hard and I'm glad I did it though because like felt like it was important for me to do it so people could see like yeah I'm a little person there's nothing wrong with me because people always have misconceptions of little people which that shouldn't really be the case but that's why I mostly did it but the documentary was really like smooth and that was actually my first time doing a documentary to be honest with you so I had a really good time doing it and I would do it all over again So after the filming process, it took about like two months for them to like fix it up and then publish it. So they published my documentary on February 8th, 2020, which is today's anniversary, which is when 2021. So it's been a year since I've done the documentary. Um, I'm pretty proud of it. I've got like good comments, you know, positive comments, some negative comments. I really don't mind. But, you know, not everything's going to be positive like on YouTube. You know, that's how YouTube functions and that's how it works. So that's what something i have learned but i'm glad i did it and i did it and hopefully i'll do it again who knows maybe i'll be in another documentary we'll see but i would do it all over again and i'm pretty like proud of myself i did it too and i was in like sophomore so i was 16 too at the time so it was my first time doing it and i mostly did it because i feel like there's not a lot of people like in this world that do like documentaries little people especially so 
but yeah, it was a pretty good like documentary. I went on. Even though it was kind of short, but hey, who knows? I have a longer documentary soon enough, so we'll see. So that's pretty much like the process how I got on the show. So those are like literally the three stops to get on the show. It's not like anything hard or whatever, but I don't know. People always ask me questions, so that's why I decided to do a YouTube video on it so you guys can know how I got on the show and stuff like that. And that's pretty much how it works, you know. It just really depends, you know, if you do write to them, it's going to take them. Oh, I see their email and stuff like that. So, it really all depends, though. I'm pretty, like, happy I did it, too. Because I guess, like, the world got to see me as a little person living my life, you know. Especially that company is in England. So, I guess I probably have a lot of England fans and stuff like that. And I do want to go to England one day, but we'll see. We'll see after coronavirus goes. But that's pretty much it. That's all the steps that it takes to be on the White Clock TV show. But, yeah. So that's pretty much the end of my video. I can't believe it's been a year since I did that documentary. But hey, more years to come. And maybe I'll have more opportunities along the line. But we'll see where my life takes me. But if you haven't already, make sure you like this video. Make sure you also subscribe to my channel if you are new. Welcome to my channel, of course. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.